Hello YouTube, welcome to Accounting 101 with T. Today we are going to be doing the balance sheet and the notes to the balance sheet. This is the financial accounting N5 question paper. It's a past question paper, 11 June 2018 X paper. So we are going to be doing our question 4, which is the balance sheet and the notes to the balance sheet. So we are going to start with our notes to the balance sheet and then end with our balance sheet. So we all know that when we are required to do the balance sheet, we also have to do the notes to the balance sheet. We are required to draw up the balance sheet of Sarah's store on 30th April 2017. The, our information is as follows. For the year ended 30 April 2017, Sarah had the following balances, which are our balances at the end of the year. And then this is our information. So without uh, wasting any more time, we are going to be using our Excel spreadsheet. As we know, we are going to be using it as our answer sheet. We, I have already drawn up every table that is needed. It is our notes and our balance sheet. It is trade and other receivables, cash and cash equivalents trade and other payables as well as our statement of changes in equity which is our capital note so without wasting any more time we are going to start with our land and buildings our land and buildings is 450,000 so during the year there was no any other additions to our land and buildings or anything so we are going to take our land and buildings as it is so we all know that land and buildings does not depreciate our land and buildings appreciate so in this note we we don't have depreciation for our land and buildings so we all know that okay we don't have any additions to our land and buildings we are going to say zero here because there were there were no additions and then we are not going to put anything on our disposals and depreciation because oh let's uh, just put it right there because we don't have anything right there we don't have anything for our additions we don't have anything for disposals we don't, we don't have anything for depreciation so this year when you write your exam because you will be writing with your pen you, you can put a dash here as well as this one and our additions so our cost price at the end of the year is going to be 450,000 because it's going to be 450,000 because there were no additions during the year i keep on repeating this there were no additions to our land and buildings so our addi additions to land and buildings is renovating the build uh, the, the, the land or buildings or doing anything just to revamp our land and buildings that that's our addition so we didn't do anything as a business so if there were there were additions during the year we were going to say 450,000 plus the additions during the year and then it was going to be equals to our cost price at the end of the year so our net carry net carrying value at the end of the year is 450,000 so moving forward to our vehicles our vehicles we also didn't have anything during the year we only had depreciations of vehicles that must be written off at 25 percent of the net carrying amount so we are going to take our vehicle cost price and accumulated depreciation record them so here's the thing our accumulated depreciate because there's an adjustment or information regarding the depreciation of vehicles this accumulated depreciation on vehicles that's on our trial balance it, it is going to be recorded at the beginning of the year because during the year there was something happening for 
that there was something regarding the depreciation so every time we owe our accumulated depreciation that's on our trial balance it is our accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year because on this information they say it is the balances at the end of the year so this accumulated depreciation on vehicles it's going to be our balance at the beginning of the year and then also this cost price is going to be our balance at the beginning cost price at the beginning of the year because there were no additions to our vehicles or selling of vehicles there were no selling or buying of vehicle on in our business so we are going to say 85,500 and 15,500 to be recorded under our vehicles we are going to say 85,500 and then we are going to put our depreciation all we all know that accumulated depreciation or depreciation it is also always um, a negative amount so a negative amount in accounting sense we put them in brackets so we are going to say is it 15,000 15,500 15,500 which is then going to give us 70,000 we all know that it's 85,000 minus 15,000 to get our net carrying value at the begin beginning of the year this 70,000 is our net carrying value at the beginning of the year so we are going to look at our information number one depreciation of vehicles must be written off at 25 percent at 25 percent net carrying amount so what they are saying is that we have to use this 70,000 which is our net carrying value at the beginning of the year this is our net carrying value we have to use this amount to calculate our depreciation so we are going to say equals to we are going to say 70,000 70,000 times the percentage that we are given which is 25 percent times 25 percent times 25 percent which is giving us 17,500 so this 17,500 is to be recorded on our depreciation during the year this is the these are the movements during the year so we are going to say 17,500 we all know that this amount should be a negative amount because it's, it's depreciation so it's a loss to the business meaning that our asset is losing value so it's going to be 17 negative 17,500 so there were no any other additions to our vehicles we didn't we also didn't sell any other vehicles during the year so our cost price is going to remain as it is it's going to be 85,500 trends so we are going to say 85,000 500 rands and then our accumulated depreciation at the end of the year we have to say accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year plus the depreciation during the year which is then going to give us our depreciation at the end of the year let me repeat it we to get our accumulated depreciation at the end of the year we have to take our accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year and our depreciation during the year which is we are going to say 15,500 plus 17,500 which is then which is going to be we are going to say 15,500 plus plus um 17,500 which is then going to give us 33,000 33,000 it's 15,500 plus 17,500 so now we all know that both amounts are negative let me just do this just to get a negative a negative answer we all know that negative negative times negative is um negative times negative is positive whatever so 
52,500 is our carry, net carrying value at the end of the year. So the amount that is to be recorded on our balance sheet is our 502 is our carrying value at the end of the year to on our total column which is 502,500 rands 502,500 so here's what we are going to do we are going to totalize this total column we are going to say this is equals this plus this it's going to give us this and then it's our zero year and then it's a zero year. Also here it's going to be our negative 15,500. And then this is going to be 450,000 plus 85,000. We are going to say 450,000 plus our 85,500. Which is then going to give us our 535,500. It's 535,500. Okay. So, we, say we to get the total, we are going to say this plus this. It's then giving us 520. Or you can say this minus this. It's going to give you 520,000 rands. So, we have a zero here. We are also going to say equals to amount. This is equals to this because 0 plus 33,000 is our 30, negative 33,000 we are going we are also going to get our um, 450 plus 85,000 we are also going to get the 535,500 so we have to say this 450 no man no man we have to say 450 plus 85,000 rent which is then giving us 535,500 rents so 535,500 rents minus 33,000 it should be giving you 502,500 535,500 minus 33,000 it should be giving you 502,500 so this amount we are going to come back to it later on let's just do this to it we are going this is the amount to be taken to our balance sheet under our to our ppe so moving forward we are going to be looking at our other notes which is our trade and other receivables cash and cash equivalents and trade and other payables we also have to look if we have anything regarding our inventory if we don't have any regarding our inventory we are going to record our inventory as it is to our to our balance sheet so our information is as follows oh my god this computer so number two on 30 april at the end of the year 30 april 2017 creditors and debtors and creditors Debtors and creditors were 81,000 and 32,400 respectively. So this 81,000 is for our debtors. We all know that when doing our trade and other receivables, we concentrate on our debtors control. So as we are told that our trade, our debtors control, which is going to be trade receivables, receive receivables control which is our data it's 80 it's 80 where is it it's 81,000 rands this is recorded under our trading other receivables 81,000 rand just like that so Looking at our information, we don't have any other bad debts. If we had bad debts, we were going to say 81,000 minus the bad debt that should be written off. So as you can see that we have already recorded our trade receivables control 
you also have to check if you have allowances allowance for credit losses which is our provision for pet debts looking at our information we don't have that on our information so you don't have to crack our heads with that if we had um an adjustment or information regarding the provision for bad debt which is now allowance for credit losses we were going to subtract it from our trade receivables control to get our net trade debtors so we move on so looking at our information petty cash this is for cash and cash equivalents and then this is for the equity note which is the capital note and then rent income for 350 rents was not received this is accrued income what what is accrued income accrued income is income received for less than 12 months or income that was never received during our financial period so meaning that the the, the, the the income is still receivable so we still have to receive the income so number five it say it says rent income for 350 was not received yet so we are going to record this under our trade and other receivables under accrued income this rent income so we are going to say accrued accrued income accrued income so under our accrued income we only have rent as our accrued income which is 350 rents 350 and then looking at our information again we only have one accrued income which is rent income we don't, we don't have any other accrued income so we are going to close off this note so we are going to say our accrued income is 350 rents 350 rents so 81,000 plus 350 rents 81,000 plus 350 rents it's 81,350 our trade and other receivables it's 81,350 rents so this is going to be our end of our part one of the video we are going to do part two and part three so this is going to be our end of part one thank you please subscribe like share and comment please don't forget to subscribe 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 i'll be more than happy if you can subscribe so thank you me i'm going to meet you on our next video which is our part two continuation of our notes Thank you.